A school atop an Indian burial ground, a mystery that has eluded scientists for hundreds of years. This is the story of Brook Road Academy. Millions of people around the world believe we have been visited in the past by extraterrestrial beings. But what if it were true? Did ancient aliens really help to shape our history? And if so, where did they come from? And just who were the visitors? This time on Ancient Aliens, we brought in alien experts, conducted experiments, and interviewed residents to prove aliens have inhabited Brook Road. Well, my research, I found that um, aliens might have invaded Brook Road about 1,700 years ago. Um, Brook Road's kind of a famous Spanish explorer, Brook Rhodes, back in the 3rd century. Many people believe that Brook Rhodes was an extraterrestrial being um, that used space technology to dis uh, disguise himself as human. Also, many theorists believe that he made an orb like object in one of the buildings of St. Josephsville. Um, the orb like object could be some sort of alien device used for long range communications or a doomsday weapon with power to destroy the world. Many theorists including our scientists, believe that this circular object was made by beings out of this world. Many of them also believe that the circular object is some sort of alien device. We were lucky enough to find one of these theorists and ask him a few questions on this subject. All right, Mr. Little, have you sighted any aliens recently? No. What do they look like? If this. you and an alien were to get into an arm wrestle, who do you think would win? Me. What's wrong with Jermaine Dupri? Nothing. Do you believe in the aliens that we have laser beams? No. Are you an alien accomplice? No. Why are you answering no to all the questions? Because I'm not an alien. Are you hiding something? No. I don't believe you. No further questions. Armed with this new information, we brought in another alien expert who specializes in alien behavior. Through my extensive research on different species of aliens and their behavior, I found out that most have a tendency to come out at night, mostly. Some have glowing index fingers that have the power to cure illnesses. Some like to use long-range communication devices to contact their own kind. Or to put it another way, phone home. Other alien species wear masks that make them invisible to the human eye and talk to each other through a series of odd clicking noises from their pie holes. Other very tall species have vibrant blue skin and black hair that is directly organically linked to their brains. These particular stealthy creatures live on the planet Pandora, which for us contains a very valuable ore we call unobtainium. I must share, however, that the most important information I discovered through my research is that some of these species of aliens are vulnerable to water and baseball bats, but only if someone says, swing away, Merrill. Our scientists conducted a few experiments to test the facts that we received from the alien behavioral specialist. Today we're testing to see if aliens come out at night. Look, there's one now. Oh, this isn't an alien. Testing to see whether aliens have glowing index fingers. Why'd you guys paint my fingers? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. This test will prove that aliens have vulnerability to water and baseball bats. Go, go, go!
Sadly, the results from our experiments were inconclusive, but we brought in a photologist to analyze photos of Brook Road. Hello. Here, we are going to be learning about aliens in historical photographs. We are going to discover some evidence about where we have found them in the history of Brook Road. This is my shop. And here are my tools. These here are the cut function. I use these to tear apart photographs and find aliens hidden within. This is my paste function. This is where I put my photos together and I find out if any of them may have hidden messages. Now let us start with a famous picture of George Washington crossing the Delaware. But this is not George Washington. This is a fake. There. Yes. Aliens! Don't you see now? They are hidden among us. We must be wary. This is Brooke Rhodes, the famous founder of St. Josephsville. But is he really your average human being? Where is my paste function? By using my super advanced technology, I will discover hidden images within previously existing photographs. These artists use strange techniques to disguise the truth from me, but no longer. All will come to light. There it is. Yes. I can feel it. Look, the famous explorer Brook Rhodes is an alien searching for his lost UFO. It isn't really this small that grows. It's magic. Alien magic. This concludes today's segment. I hope you've learned something. Again, our results were inconclusive. However, one of the most respected alienologists has agreed to tell us about his first-hand encounter with creatures from another planet. Of course. Of course, of course. Of course, out in the field, field that's when they got me. The hat came. Made this hat especially for that. The thoughts that... Can't get my thoughts. I was on the spaceship. On the spaceship, driving, and the ship went down. And that's when they got me again. Out in the field. Out in the field is where... The field. Oh, damn it. 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 O
Stop. Is alien abduction real? To prove it is, our scientists will conduct an elaborate experiment with the best technology available at Walmart. While our scientists conduct their three day experiment, we went out and got the opinions of the local residents about the alien threat. All right, Sarah, is that your name? That's my name. Okay. First question that we have is Do you believe in extraterrestrial aliens? I believe in extraterrestrial something, but don't know if I classify them as aliens. So, is it yes or no? I would say yes. Yes. Okay, do you believe that they're here on Earth? Mm, no. No, you don't? Okay. Is my questioning making you nervous? You look a little nervous. No, I'm not nervous. You sure? Yeah. Well, that was a rhetorical question, but... Okay, um... Let's see... So, because you believe in aliens, does that mean that you've ever been abducted by aliens before? No. Never been abducted by aliens. Are you sure? Positive. But if you were abducted, you wouldn't remember it, would you? So you're saying you have been abducted by aliens? <laughs> your question. Well, that was your question, but confirming my answer, no, I have never been abducted by aliens. That remains, that remains to be seen. I think, I think we're done here. Thank you. All right. Dan, we heard you sighted an extraterrestrial UFO. Can you tell us about it? You heard I flew one? No, we, we heard you sighted one. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I, I wasn't what did it look like? Well, it was a bright... Can you describe it to us? Yeah, yeah, I'm describing it now, if you let me. It was a bright How yellow... How many times did you see it? Four times. Do you believe in aliens or do you not believe in aliens? Aliens? You mean illegal aliens? Have you ever been abducted by the aliens other, that you knew or not Other planets. <laughs> Say again? Did you, do you believe in the aliens that you were abducted in? Uh, no, I don't believe in that. So you were abducted by aliens, though? No. So you don't believe in aliens? No. But you sighted a UFO. Oh, yeah, but I didn't say that it was being driven by an alien. Next question. A reliable source notified us that you were in the process of building a strange structure. Is it alien related? <laughs> you mean, did it look like an outdoor classroom? Yes. Yeah, it yeah, it did. Was it alien related? No, it was not. Does it have anything to do with keeping aliens in hiding? Absolutely not. What do you believe? Uh, by aliens, aliens, you don't mean uh, seventh and eighth graders, do you? I'm asking the questions here. Oh, I'm sorry. What are the aliens' purpose for being here on Earth? Uh, they're not here, so blue, 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 I, I wouldn't know the answer to that. No further questions. Does this prove that aliens have invaded, or that aliens mostly come out at night, or that their index fingers glow, or that they're vulnerable to water and baseball bats? Uh, no, 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 no.